Here are some political headlines that are heating things up in Missouri. Director of Advocacy and Policy for MSA, Anthony Garcia, is striving to implement Narcan in Mizzou residence halls. This nasal spray counteracts the life-threatening effects of an opioid overdose. According to the Narcan website, the NIDA reports that more than 130 people die as a result of an opioid overdose every day. This number is a reminder of how this crisis continues to overwhelm the nation, increasing the demand for products like Narcan. Turning to the state capitol, a proposed campus free speech bill is being speculated by some as limiting the voice of professors. Representative Dean Dorman believes that this bill aims to enhance free expression and open debate on college campuses. After the recent attack at UMKC on political commentator Michael J. Knowles, lawmakers are especially tense on the subject of expanding free speech and encouraging inclusivity. UMKC's chancellor responded to the disruption in support of free speech, while also claiming that the conservative speaker's opinions didn't match with the university's commitments to inclusion. The chancellor's statement is similar to those behaviors being observed in the classroom. Professors are commonly caught suppressing students' opinions which do not align with their own, both on political subjects and otherwise. Not only does this bring the potential to jeopardize a student's grade, but the polarization deflates the feeling of a welcoming campus climate. In order to maintain free speech in the classroom, the bill discourages professors from discussing content that is not related to lecture material. It seems conservatives and liberals alike need to set their differences aside. Otherwise, classroom climates may stay ice cold. I'm Avid Sam. Thanks for joining me with the latest political rhetoric, outrage, and triumphs with the political prowl.